This is Five on Your Side at Five, focused on you. Less than three hours ago, the Illinois State House voted to ban the sale of assault weapons and high capacity magazines. This comes after the Senate passed the bill last night. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Mike Bush. The votes are happening during a lame duck session underway at the Illinois Capitol. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, joins us live tonight from Springfield with more on what this weapons ban means for gun owners. Mike and Kelly, good evening. Governor Pritzker already says he will sign this assault weapons ban into law, outlawing the sale, transfer, or delivery of assault weapons and high capacity magazines anywhere in Illinois. This law would allow people to keep those banned weapons on private property, but it includes a requirement to register those banned weapons with the state, and that is sparking threats of a legal fight in court. And what you've thrown into this piece of legislation here guarantees it's going to be stricken down. Illinois Republicans predicted courts will ultimately overturn a ban on the sale of new assault weapons in Illinois, arguing the ban and registration requirements for current assault weapons are unconstitutional. That's what the Constitution's about, protecting our citizens from a government that oversteps and encroaches on our freedoms. Democrats acknowledged advocates with Moms Demand Action in the gallery as they prepared to pass the ban. House Democrat Denise Wing Stoneback said, you can measure the soul of a society by how it treats its children. Gun violence is the number one cause of death for children in the United States. House Republican Blaine Wilhauer vowed to defy the ban. I can tell you that uh, we will not comply and you're not going to do a darn thing about it. We're passing this law. This law is a law. And if you don't follow it and you don't comply, then you can go to jail. The first offense for refusing to register outlawed weapons is only a misdemeanor and carries no immediate prison sentence. But repeat offenses could escalate to a class four felony, which could carry one to three years behind bars. Ashby Beasley is with Moms Demand Action. They're sending out a very dangerous statement that will create criminals and crime and they, they're, they should not be doing that. As lawmakers, they should be following the laws that they set, that we set, even if they don't agree with them. That advocate was at the Highland Park mass shooting on July 4th. Also, when Governor Pritzker does sign this law into effect, it takes effect immediately, but that portion uh, requiring you to register your weapons would not take effect until New Year's, January 1st, 2024, giving gun owners a full calendar year. But legal challenges between now and then could tie it up in court. We'll have more tonight at 6 on the Senate debating now abortion protections for health care workers that provide those procedures. Live in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, five on your side.